of today. You are. Come on, let's go. You will compete your goal. Say that. I will compete my goal. There you go. So it's the second week. Today is Monday, and I have my light on in my car because it's like if I turn it off, it's like way too dark. So I just wanted to get on here and share with you guys how my weekend went. And um, you know, my weekend was not so good because you know, my body really started feeling the pain of the training. Not only that, I was extremely exhausted. And on Sunday, last night, I got really sick. My stomach was hurting so bad. I was literally like balled up like a fetus, just really crying because that's how bad it was. And I don't know if it's because of something that I ate and I'm thinking that it might have been the salmon that I purchased over the weekend. I'm not sure, I cannot pinpoint it, but I am going to just trade it out and I'm gonna get another protein in place of it because I just, I just not, I'm just not sure. I don't wanna take no chances, you know, cause I was really sick. But this morning, I still feel, my stomach still feels a little bit of, you know, um, pain or whatever, like these little sharp pains in my stomach. And then I had like, I know this is TMI, but I had the runs like, you know what I'm saying, yesterday, which was not good. And so, I don't know, I was just in bad shape yesterday. But, um, so I almost was not about to come today. That's how bad it was, you know, and I'm not a quitter. Like I have a high tolerance for pain. I can usually push through anything, but the way I was feeling last night, <clears throat> I wasn't gonna, you know, I wasn't gonna try and, and do it. And so, um, and so, yeah, you know, but, I'm up here and I'm on my way here right now and um, I feel a little bit better. I think that I can complete my training today and so, um, so you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to like psych myself into excitement, I guess, because to be honest with you, um, Lanier, the one who's like, like helping me through this because he's already like did professional competitions we bump heads like so much you know and um and i honestly we i was just literally like gonna tell him just forget it i did not want to like i did not want him helping me because it was getting so bad and we weren't talking for a minute because i was just we get into it all the time and i'm literally like he's pushing me and i know this would I know that's what you want. You want somebody that not only supports you, but can push you. But I'm like trying to explain to him that I'm not, I'm not trying to train for a competition. You know what I'm saying? I can literally like pace myself, you know, I have no problem with that. And so I'm not racing for any type of goal. You know what I mean? And so, and so, yeah, we kind of just made up, I guess, you know, and, um, and um, today's Monday and we're headed to the gym and I'm gonna just continue this training and this process and um, yeah, take you guys with me on this journey. So I'll talk to you guys later. Workout. It's gonna be a good workout. I'm gonna do my strength training right now, and I just got done with cardio and my stretches. Because of this training, since we've been training, and because of how weak my back muscles are, that's where I get attitude because it's showing me where when I was in college and even a couple of years ago when I was in the gym. I had underdeveloped my back muscles, so it's harder for me to get them back in shape, whereas opposed to the ones that I underdeveloped, it's, it's hard. It's like starting from scratch, you know? So, yeah, I get some attitude. 
it's, it hurts. Cause it hurts. It's not so easy. It's an attitude. <laughs> come on. It's my other body. Come on. Yeah, it's other body. Come on. Let's do. Let's do three. Okay, three. Hold on. Let's just do three. Okay. Come on. Listen. Once we do these, we're gonna go over there and we're gonna at least do one pull up because you're gonna have to build that muscle. Yeah. So. My trainer was telling me to do one pull up. I can't even imagine. Because I, I literally had no upper body. I was literally working on trying to get to one freaking pull up. Like, that was a big deal. That was actually a goal. A goal of mine was one. <laughs> I don't know. I'm laughing because to see where I'm at now and then to see where I was then, it's just. That was crazy. I had no upper body. But, anyways. I think I'm gonna need you to spot me on that one pull up. That, that's what I'm saying, right, right, okay. right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. One. Working on your you core go. and your upper Two. body to get an upper, Three. working on your core so that you can Three. get an upper body. Four. Four. It's hard. Five. Come on, give me two more. Come on. Come on, give me two more. Come on. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Push, push, push. Two. Come on. One more time. One more time. One more time. Three. There you go. I just literally wanted to cry every day. You know, I honestly, I, I honestly didn't think I was going to ever be able to do a pull up. You know what I mean? Because at my age and the fact that I couldn't even get myself off the ground and then those machines, that machine that was on that was like trying to help me with my a beast. I didn't like it, and it was painful, you know? I didn't like that. I don't like that machine. I, and to this day, I still don't like it. You know, some machines I grow to love, some machines I just never grow to love, and that's one of those machines I just never grow to love, just like those ropes. They can both just kick rocks, so. <laughs> You, you see that I literally was getting assistance. Like, literally could not do a, I literally could not get my body off of the, off of the ground. Like, I don't even, for those who try to do a pull up, that can't do a pull up, you guys, you understand where I'm coming from. So, to see that I actually was getting assistance to just pull up, it's funny now because of where I'm at now, but then it wasn't funny. Tell us, look into the camera, how was the training today? Hard, difficult. I can't even do a pull-up. I literally have no upper body. Not good. But she will, ladies and gentlemen. She will. When you're working hard and you're doing something you've never done, been done before, your body is being exerted to a limit that it's not used to. And then to have, you know, he's coming with this camera in your face. And I just had an attitude. I did not want to be bothered. Like She did it, ladies and gentlemen. It's not so easy. Knocked out those hits. She is amazing. I had mad attitude. I told you guys that this is this is going this was common in the beginning. Like the first month or two of training was I was, I was just not a good person to, to work with. Literally, I was not, and I didn't know. And he was constantly in my face with that, that camera. And, and the moments that I did not want to be filmed, like, it was horrible. I mean, you know, like, it's already, you're already vulnerable because you're already looking like a beach whale. You know what I'm saying? You're feeling like trash, and then you, and then you're, and then you're in pain, and then you're, 
it just was not, I just was not wanting to be bothered. There you go. Let's put your chest up against here first. All right. Make sure you, you flat up against there. There you go. Now, push that leg back. Come on. Go ahead. No, it's okay. We're doing five. Let's go. That's one. Come on. Let's do it. Two. Let's go. Three. Let's go. There you go. Let me see that mean face. Let's go. All right, there you go. Good, good. Now switch it over. Switch it over. Come on. Let's go. We got one more. We got two more of these right here to do. Push. There we go. Come on, get it in. Get it in. Get it in. Get it in. One more. Okay, rest. There you go. There you go. Look at me. Look at me. There you are. Uh-uh. No, we're not done. No, we got two more. We got two more. Just two more. Do you want that or not? Do you want it or not? Let's just do this little one more. Just one more. I want consistency. It is consistency. It's not. You okay. Can change it. I'm changing it for a reason. Come on. Come on. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how it's not so easy. Pills have the dead workout. What's up, guys? So. This is, I'm still in week two of my fitness journey and I wanted to get on here. I actually completed my journey, excuse me, this morning. Let me just make a confession. There's two things. Yesterday, <laughs> guys, I had, I, I cheated. I just, I'm gonna put it, I'm just telling you guys for accountability and so that you guys don't think that this journey is just simple and that I've just dotted all my I's and crossed all my T's and no. I cheated yesterday. I went to Target and got these banana chips, and I, I always show the picture somewhere here then to show you guys which ones I got. I got these banana chips. I ate about 10 pieces of them. Guys, I mean, I felt like trash afterwards. Okay, listen. Okay, on this, on this clip, yes, <laughs> I cheated for the first time with banana chips. I thought, honestly, I was cheating in a healthy way, okay? But I'm gonna tell y'all something. And this, these 13 wings, I fell off of the whole wagon. Like, your girl ate Popeyes, Chick-fil-A. Like, I cheated. I did, I, I, I was not, I, I was. Guys, listen. The point is, <laughs> you're gonna have moments where you cheat. <laughs> I cheated, I don't want you to, because I don't want you to get the impression that, oh, she cheated with some banana clips. No, you don't see it on these 13 weeks, but I had, it got to the point where I, st I stopped filming. I stopped filming myself in the car, like giving my little vlog moments, because I was in Ch Chick-fil-A Popeyes, so my journey is gonna be a little longer than most, but I'm here to tell you to keep going because I'm keeping, I'm keeping going. I'm keeping going. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> so don't let it, don't, don't make it, I don't want y'all to be like, I was cheating pretty, because I wasn't cheating pretty. It got real ugly. It got real ugly. I was eating stuff I knew. Dog and I shouldn't be eating, so. So you mean to tell me that you had more than just that banana chip? You had other food? Not on that day, but yeah, going forward when stuff, you know, because when you're going through stuff, when you're going through stuff, your trainer is like being a butt. You know, you're going through personal things, your kids, you're going through job issues. You be wanting to cheat, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I did. I went to Chick-fil-A. I could have went to McDonald's, but I didn't. I went to Chick-fil-A, I thought that was good, right? And I went to Popeye's, I had beans and rice, carbs, protein, okay? I'm thinking, bottom line was, listen, don't feel bad if you fall off the wagon and you cheat, because your girl cheated a couple of times. I just didn't film it. So I'm telling you right now, but I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep going. So I want you guys to subscribe and watch me do this, because I am, because I'm, I'm going all the way. I'm not just losing weight or trying to talk. I'm telling you, I'm about to go all the way, and you guys are gonna watch me. Have to find, you don't have to find another replacement for these ropes, because I sincerely believe these ropes are the devil. Two, one, 
Stop. We hit those arms like you never hit them before. Yeah. I okay. <laughs> Come on. 15. Ooh. Did she say, ooh? Are you ready for it? Practice and practice and practice. Practice makes what? Absolutely not. Dismantle that belief system. Practice makes improvement. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. You never hit a state of perfection. You're always bigger than what you do. And so all you're looking for are new breakthroughs through practice and practice and practice. You'll get better and better and better.